Marky Mark, get ready, sit, go. Dark. Kelly's here. Wow. Zell is here. Perfect. Amy. That's amazing. I can't see the timer. Thank you. Now I can see the time. Mm hmm Yes, you can. You can see it all. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Beyond the Steel Sky with Kelly. And Zelly. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Uh, right now, we're in part four, and we're in Union City. So we just got inside after hijacking the power cell from the previous robot. Uh, I think his name was, what, like 4YR or something? Yeah, something like that. Tried being diplomatic about it. Didn't like it, so we had to literally force him up, take the robot, take the the battery from his butt, and now we plugged it into Wendell's truck. We're inside, and now we're going around. And while you're watching this, don't forget to like, subscribe, or share. Either one of those will help Good us if brain. one, if not all. Outdated you. Thank you so much. Firmware detected. Firmware must be updated to use Union City facilities. I was about to return to give Ember a piece of my mind when... Transporting you to the nearest safety services. Okay. Well, Ember, I'm not really sure if he'll give you a piece of his mind yet, but we'll see. Oh, that was all the tutorial? Wow. Now we're seeing some opening game credits. Ooh. Oh, that's Wow, cool. it's in the sky. Oh my god, we're on a roller coaster. Woo! Woo! Oh my goodness, look at that infrastructure. Wow. Gang gangs, they're everywhere. <laughs> Turns out it was such a long ride, Grabs just shit sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> this music and theme reminds you of Star Wars or something like intergalactic fantasy spatial. Fantasy, yeah. Let's go with that. Well, that was exciting. That was loud. Very loud. But we got to see the whole city. That's pretty cool, though. I know. It was really cool. I wonder how much we'll be able to interact with within the city. What do you think? Some robots? Maybe some roads? I'm sure we'll be able to interact with lots of stuff once we're in now. Think Rita will be in here? I don't know. <laughs> do you remember Greta? No. She's the AI robot-like oh, hologram? That one. With red? She's red. Safety services. The stalkers had come into the city, but looking around, that didn't make any sense. This place was a paradise compared to the Union City I'd left all those years ago. Joey had certainly turned the place around. I had to find the stalkers, and whoever he was, Graham was my only lead. I just had to sort out my U-chip problems first. Hmm. Aspire to aspire. Hey, look at that. Literally two seconds into this place, we meet Greta again. Hello. Good morning, Graham Grundy. I trust you are well on this fine day. Yes. Actually. Aha. Uh -huh. Have you tried Dijon buttercream spankles? It's new. Sounds delightful. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, Mr. Grundy, we both know why you're here, don't we? Uh, I guess we do. Your firmware, it's ridiculously out of date. Let's get you sorted then, shall we? Go on, place your hand on the platform. <laughs> why? <laughs> why should I? <laughs> Graham, what a ridiculous question. 
How do you expect to access your messages? <laughs> messages? Or vote on important city issues. Or mm. use the travel system. <laughs> Please consent to the firmware update. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're defiant. We're no. defiant. No. Well, she just holds a gun to your face. Very strange. Put your hand down. What's very strange? What's very strange? You said that's very strange a moment ago. Something about my data. I didn't. You said, what's very strange? I only said it because you said that's very strange. Great. What else can I do for you, <laughs> Citizen Graham? Wow. There was something strange about the ID that I had acquired. While she may have lost the plot, I definitely hadn't. Hmm. hmm. So is my firmware all up to date? It sure is, Citizen Graham. Now you can get back to being a top-notch citizen again. I see you have two weeks of public voting to catch up on. Better find a terminal and hop to it. Hmm. hmm. Nah. Not really political in real life I'm either. I'm looking for a vehicle. Well, a monopod station can be found at either end of the piazza. Are there any vehicles in the city that have legs? Polite request for disambiguation. By legs, do you mean a vehicle transporting prosthetics, flat-packed furniture, or fried chicken? <laughs> I mean a vehicle with legs for propulsion. Do you mean a skateboard or scooter? You are mm. no help. I'm here to help. <laughs> Listen, I don't know if you'll be able to help on this. I'm here to help. Okay. I'm looking for a child that went missing two days ago. And from which part of the city did this child go missing? He was from outside the city. I can only help you locate citizens. Hmm. Okay. Well, good to know there, at least. I don't think Thank we you. need anything else. Was I helpful? Well, at least a little bit. <laughs> Would you like to fill out a survey? Uh, I'm going to have to say no. No. Or do you want a yes? I'm kind of curious what the survey would be. All right. Let's yeah. hear your plea. Why not? Excellent. Question one of 100. Are you satisfied? Whoops, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> now that what? I've dealt with my YouTube problem, I needed to find out more about my new identity. Graham Grundy. That's true. Well, I guess we'll just start walking and figure it out. Mm -hmm. So low sleep tight citizen. Well-being minister, you are the best. Er. Remember they had all the different districts like Minister of like Comfort and like mm -hmm. all the other things? Oh, Ministry actually of Patience people here. here. Well-being. Yeah, it looks like everybody's pretty comfortable living here. Moment. Oh, you can't interact with the people? My Lame. trail was running cold. I needed to check out Graham's home. Ah, of course. But there's a robot here. Let's see. Stall hey, DRYD. For you, sir? I have all day. <laughs> what can you tell me about the council? Nothing that you won't have heard already. However, if you take a look behind my stall, you can catch a great view of the Citadel. The Citadel? Where the council are based. It can be seen through the skyline right behind me. What do you do here? My name is Hollow. And it is my pleasure to serve the wonderful people of Union City on this glorious Aspiration Day. And what are you serving? Well, social climbers can bring their aspiration brooches to me. And then what? I use this machine here to customize the hologram projected on the brooch. Isn't that fun? It's a real parade. <laughs> <laughs> what is an aspiration brooch? A special wearable reward to Union City's esteemed social climbers. Courtesy of the council. Yes, but what do they do? The brooch permits entry to areas around the city, exclusive to social climbers. Such as ah. the old history exhibit in the Museum of New History. It also tells your fellow citizens how great at gathering kudos you are. Oh, so how great we are at gathering money. <laughs> I see the currency, right? Yeah. Have you heard anything about missing children? Oh my, that's above my pay grade. Are <laughs> you social climbers? No. <laughs> You're taken into the city from the gap. Well, I certainly wouldn't have had anything to do with that. I'll see you later. 
I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I have a permanent smile on my face. Customize your aspiration brooch here. <laughs> I know Ooh, I know ter terminal. So the guy I couldn't access our... Graham's messages. I added that to my list of things to look into. Hmm. Well, do you want to read these off, or...? I guess we can read them through. Okay, you want me to start, or you start? <clears throat> Go for it. All right. So, 14 days ago, Ministry of Aspiration. Ministry of Aspiration, polite message. We have noted that your kudos score has dropped again this month. The Ministry of Aspiration is here to help you aspire to be a brighter and better you. Keep a smile on your face. Next one. Go down. Uh, hollow plinth company, Dr. Grundy, we're happy to be with a lens replacement for your hollow plinth. Thank you for your custom. Please return the faulty one when it's convenient to do so. Keep a smile on your face. Oh, okay. Mm. Missed on some new Spankles flavors for Union City. Better luck next time. Um, let's see. For land train vehicles group, come to our attention that an industrial vehicle robot was locked on an empty land train and transported to Asio City. Now this is underway to determine the person responsible for the error. Just on your face. Okay, so it sounds like a lot of these are just kind of going through and just kind of... Yeah, your record indicates ob ob obsolescence for a four for consecutive... Please contact your manager to determine how we can best help you... Oh, missing worker. So he was missing for a while, looks like. He just ditched. Our regular implants are no longer fitted. Please return them to this analysis or monitor you and your health. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of swapping and taking in. Winner of Union City Photography Competition will be announced tomorrow morning. Log in to see if you won a prize. Keep a smile on your face and say cheese. Winners. Black is the new black with the new goth silk. <laughs> Darker than emptiness itself and super soft on those intimate areas for the sensitive. <laughs> goth and everyone. Okay. <laughs> Alright. But life 8. Looks like Hot Topic or... Hey Graham. This is a polite reminder that Minos Health, your health check is now overdue. Just step onto your health scanner so we can upload your details. Okay, hmm. step on it. All right, let's see about this one. Uh, how's supposed to be remodeled? Oh, no, it's not sparkling to be standard. Well, it's just, sir. So this is probably like an advertisement for full carpet cleaning facilities. I could give vacuum bag and five separate personal personality modes to appeal to every member of your household. It's like a robo butler, it looks like. Yeah. Okay. New flavors of Spankle, Mangerine, Black Forest Cheesecake, Blubber, Bourbon Bubbler, Lobster Terminoid. Ter Are you ready to just kind of skim the next few ones? Yeah, these? we could just skim the next few ones, fine. So your IQ went down, you became dumb. Uh, your kudos level went down because you're not spending money, I guess. And you've been working, you've been missing for 12 consecutive days. Uh, there's a cuddly llama, loot the llama. Uh, there's a robot that's here to appeal you or to help out, it looks like, with occasions, with drinks. <laughs> Ever tried mini K's? They're pretty delicious. Promo with your mentor at 10.30 a.m. Keep a smile on your face. Every message literally says keep a smile on your face. I know, right? Keep a smile on your face. My nose, breaking news. Can you go for that one? I didn't see the Oh, you wanted one. to read that one? Yeah. Oh, for my point. Oh, okay, never mind. That was for today. Oh, it's today. Oh, we're today so, now. So it's just the uh, updating stuff that we've done. So the biggest thing is we know he's been missing for a while from work, and all of a sudden he ends up dead outside. We have his ID, and we're inside the city again. Yoga, cool. Mindfulness, always appreciated. <laughs> Mr. Spankles, okay. I think we're done. Or is there one more? Oh. Beauty Salon. Looking for an aspiration day gift? Ooh. All right. Keep a spawn your face. That's all of them. All right. Hollow plinth. Say anything? Oh, so it looks like we actually have some floral arrangements and I'm guessing like collectibles or something. See a TV advice, man. Yeah, maybe. That was interesting. Okay. All right. Calling all social climbers. Customize social climbers. I like it how he sees like, is he a social climber? I would not have seen him otherwise. 
Well, that was do, a robot. Do, 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 do. There's a Reddit call on a statue's junk. Let's see, I think that's how we got here. Mm hmm. I don't think we want to talk Rita to Rita Terminal. Again. So we want to find his headquarters or like his home where he is. So we have to, I think, find one of those monopads to transport us and then go to his home if we can do that. Hooray! Another customer! Ooh, a cafe! Hey, a cafe! To place an order. Union City wishes all citizens a happy aspiration day. <laughs> oh, is he just making you one when you do that or something? As pleasant as this place was, I doubted it was going to help me find Milo. Ah, oh, spankles. I look like a good spankles in the morning. Good spank on the butt. Lots of spankles here. I think it's their only consumption of liquids. I'm just like, isn't there any food in this joint? Monopod station. So I think we could take this to go to his... Home, maybe? Yeah. Use. Please embark now. Okay. Okay. Welcome, Embarking. Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Home. Graham's uh, home. Graham's home. I knew Graham had some sort of connection to Milo's kidnapping. His home would be my best, in fact, my only lead. Take me to Graham, my home. <laughs> Make few apartments. Certainly, <laughs> Citizen Graham. Lay few apartments, too. Than I did. Lakeside View, that's going to be pretty pricey. Pretty expensive. We gotta live in one of these giant towers somewhere. Mm -hmm. Or at least I hope it's nice. <laughs> if it's a lake view near water, it's usually more expensive. Are you sure that wouldn't just be the name of it? It doesn't mean there's a lake. It could be a lake. <laughs> I'm betting there's a lake nearby. There has to be a lake nearby. If there's not a lake nearby, why would I have Lake View? Just to make it sound like a pleasantly named place. No. No. <laughs> Would you put a I apartment in a desert and call it Lake Field? man called Graham. I was apprehensive about what I would find. But I had no choice. I had to find the stalker. And whoever he was, Graham was my only lead. Well, I'm not seeing a lake nearby. The seal on the floor showed my buddy Joey just as I remembered him. When I left him in charge all those years ago. <laughs> hey, buddy, watch where you're standing. What's your problem? Your face, for one. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you hadn't been staring at the floor like a moron, you'd have seen me. Uh, hmm. okay. Do you live here? Do I look like I live here? I'm not from around here. Maybe everyone here looks like you. Yeah, <laughs> and what do I look like? Trouble. Keep walking. Ooh. I didn't catch your name. I'm your mama. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. And do you know this a guy called starts. Graham Grundy? Nope. Sounds like a moron. In that <laughs> That's case, me. Let me introduce myself. <laughs> Graham Grundy. Doesn't surprise me. Do you know where I can find Joey? Oh, I don't know, weirdo. They say he walked into the gap, or sailed across the sea. Either way, he abandoned us all in this place. You don't like it here? Needs more color, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> what happened after Joey left? Well, duh! Council runs the city now. Okay. I'll leave you to... whatever it was you were doing. Aw, oh, really? I miss you. Yes, I'm very busy. <laughs> hey, dirtbag, what's your favorite color? Why do you need to know? You heard me. What's your favorite color? Uh, 
it's probably going to be associated with the council. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. I don't know. Choose what you want. I'd say blue. You're going to say blue? Or green. Or yellow. What I'm going to go with green. Green? Green is not a creative color. Later, man purse. Ooh. Later, uh, backpack. Ha! You got nothing. <laughs> Clearly not everyone in Union City was quite as courteous as they were happy. Key then. Cool. So your mama just made it a greeting to us. She's fun. Up we go! Loving the architecture here. I think I'd like a place like this. This seems pretty legit. Pretty cool. Wait, I knew that you chip. Oh my, is it really? Yes, it is. Master Graham, you have returned. How wonderful. Oh. Good day, huh? I shall inform Madam and her guests that you have arrived. Oh. I'm so pleased. No, no, that won't be necessary. She will be overjoyed that you have finally returned to the bosom of the family. Okay. Hmm. Oh, right. Oh, shoot. My apologies for the interruption, Madam Songbird. It's Master Graham. What about him, Chipworth? It appears he has arrived home, madam. He has, but that's wonderful. Oh, thank Joey. My dear husband is back. <laughs> oh, I was hoping to meet you, Mr. Grundy. Mental Alonzo, Ministry of Wellbeing. I was just here to investigate some irregularities. I'm sure my Graham needs a few moments to freshen up. Why don't I show you my Kudos record? They're very impressive. I don't know who you are, but right now we're both in a lot of trouble. So for both <laughs> our sakes, you'd better convince the mentor that you're Graham. Um, yes, of course. I'll stall him. Just don't come through that door until you know enough about <laughs> Graham to pass yourself off as him. Don't worry. You can count on me. <laughs> I wow. I not sure what I'd walked into. But if I was to convince anyone I was Graham... I needed to find out more about him. His job, his family, his state of mind. The mentor could ask me about anything. Information about Graham was scattered all over the place. All I had to do was look around. <laughs> Master Graham, you're home. Oh, goody. Come on in. A shelf full of sports gear and awards from years gone by. That looked like Graham and his wife on their wedding day. They looked blissfully in love. Aww. Amethyst or purple glass? Either way, it looked expensive. Fairy tales, courtly romances, and art books. Hey, my kind of style. Oh. The bedroom? I was by the acrid smell of chemicals. An antique, huh? A sword? The blade was cracked. Huh. An empty box. The box was for a deluxe hollow plinth replacement lens. There was nothing inside. We saw that on one of his messages. Ooh, a suit. A uniform like the one Graham's wife wore. It was cut for someone much larger. The logo on the uniform was quite distinct. Hmm. Oh, there's pictures up here. Looked like these photos were taken by the city walls. Hmm. Wow, okay. Shoes. You can tell a lot about a man from his shoes. In this case, that the man had no taste. Wow, there's a okay. Myos terminal, book printer. A printer? It was rare to see one of those. <laughs> Done. <clears throat> How to survive a war? <laughs> Just God. to not be around to see them. Yeah, no kidding. Don't participate. Mm -hmm. 
so okay. we can. So we're back at the terminal I now. Couldn't access see. Graham's messages. I added that to my list of things to look into. Okay, I just wanted to. So see. our Kudos history is at a C plus right now. Looks like mm -hmm. so they actually have a grade based upon the. How much money we have? The or kind of like the credit score. Goats. Imagine a classic. I feel like that's the ride off of a real, real movie. <laughs> it probably is. I just don't know the reference yet. A cavalcade of cryptids. Someone believed in monster stories. Hey, there's that machine too that they used to haul off. I think Milo in. Whatever that machine was. There's another room over here. Is this the bathroom? Let's see if you left any specimen behind. <laughs> a specimen behind. So Graham was a cleaning supervisor? I needed to find out who he worked for. If I slipped up, I'd be exposed right away. Hmm. Well, this looks like a normal bathroom. What was this over here? Oh, a medical scanner. Welcome back, Graham. Displaying your health chart now. It has been two weeks since your last checkup. You have lost weight. Congratulations. <laughs> it has been noted that your height has increased. Adjusting records accordingly. Scanning for medical implants. <sighs> Implant missing. Refreshing biomodification database. Please wait. Removing cardiac implant registration. Registering Shreveman port as new implant. The scanner had detected my Shreveman port, which allowed me to interact with Link, the city's old network. Since then, mm. I'd pretty much forgotten about it. Adjusting your health rating from C to A+. I was considerably fitter than Graham. That was good to know. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. good. Uh, what devices? devices do I have installed? You possess a U-chip personal data implant in the perlicue of your right hand. It is functioning correctly. Your cardiac regulator implants have been marked as removed. Please return them to your nearest medical waste facility. You possess a Shreveman local interneural connection port in the third cervical vertebrae. This hardware predates the Minos system and cannot be accessed at this terminal. Hmm. That's probably for the best. <laughs> you are welcome, Citizen Graham. <laughs> uh. Do you have any advice for me? A single can of Spankles contains more than your daily dietary requirements. Oh. Look for the clown. Drink Spankles. Keep a smile on your face. Oh my god. Thanks. You are so, welcome, Citizen Graham. So, a beverage is basically just quantified as a meal. I guess. Or the same dietary nutrition from it. Yep. Do you have any further advice for me? Are you aware that falls while walking are one of the biggest causes of injuries in Union City? Remember, no matter how short the journey, a monopod is always safer and more convenient. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. You're welcome, Citizen Graham. All right, well, that was informative. That's all for now. Due to the alteration of your physical parameters, a new uniform has been ordered and will arrive at your home shortly. Cool. Keep a smile on your face. Well, like Amazon Prime. Graham. In fact, I'd say Graham was downright unhealthy. I had made some headway, but I still needed to know about Graham's work and social standing. Hmm. Okay. Can we shower? <laughs> I don't know, can we? Tempting, but I'd already had my monthly bath. Monthly? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, my monthly bath. But of course. At least one person in the city appreciated a nice cup of coffee. Although I doubted Union City Blend contained even an ounce of actual coffee beans. You're probably right. <laughs> Union City Red. I suspected it was more fruit juice than wine. Definitely an improvement on the food dispensers they used to have here. Excuse me, please. Hello there. Chipworth, wasn't it? <laughs> Master Graham, may I say, sir, is looking even more fabulous than usual today. Why, thank you. Has Master Graham lost weight? <laughs> Maybe. Does Master Graham look like he's lost weight? Oh, 
Yes, sir. And it would appear Sir has gained some height as well. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Tell me, Chipworth, who was that woman just now? But that was Sir's wife, Madame Somberg. Yes, of course. Uh, my wife. Is Sir quite feeling himself? It's fine. I've just been having a difficult few days. How serendipitous that the well-being mentor is here then, is it not, sir? <sighs> Who was that guy in here when I arrived? Is sir referring to the gentleman currently probing your wife in the bedroom? Uh, I guess I am. <laughs> that would be the Honorable Mentor Alonso, senior officer at the Ministry of Well-being. I believe that he would like to see you next. He would? Mentor Alonso indicated that there were one or two anomalies in Master Graham's records. Public voting, kudos levels, employment, whereabouts within the city... Just some minor things, then. Consumption patterns, bio-signs, indication of physical existence... I think I get the picture. But I'm sure there's a simple answer, Master Graham. There probably is. This mentor, what will he ask me about? The Ministry of Wellbeing is always concerned, sir, with the citizens' well-being. Well-being? That's right, sir. A citizens' health and happiness, their relationships and social life. All of the utmost importance to the Ministry. He might also inquire if sir needs any support in the workplace or similar. Why exactly was I selected? I believe sir's two-week-long work, poll and social hiatus may have raised some concerns. Just be yourself, sir, and you will be fine. <laughs> of course, because I am Graham Grundy. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be legit the way he raises his eyebrows. Chipworth, tell me everything you know about me. Request respectfully declined, sir. But aren't you my butler droid? Yes, sir. I have been sir's butler for a very long time. Then why can't you tell me? Standing orders, sir. Whose orders? You? Ah, nice try, sir. Almost had me. Graham had made sure his droid wouldn't talk. I had to do my own investigating. Hmm. Interesting. I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, sir. <laughs> Laundry plants cleaning nothing. Windows. Did you... Laundry? Please, can you Could... do the laundry, Chipworth? The laundry basket is in the bedroom, sir. I wouldn't want to disturb the mentor. Seems sensible. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess maybe something else. I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, sir. Maybe... Cleaning? The windows? Please, can windows? you open the windows, Chipworth? I am sorry, sir, but the window controls are in Madame Songbird's room. I would not wish to disturb the mentor while he is with her. Her meeting is apparently of the highest priority. I see. We shouldn't disturb her then. Hmm. Indeed, sir. However, if the air temperature is a concern, might sir consider dispensing with his coat? It is rather warm. And pungent, sir. <laughs> oh, thanks. Just Goodbye, what I need to know. So you're saying I smell. Special day, sir. Still a monthly bath, though. <laughs> Interesting, too, how... I'm stuck. Are we stuck? Are we stuck? Oh. Nope, I'm good. Interesting how he didn't have his robot give any details about himself, too. Something told me the fire was not authentic. Ooh, a TV. Excuse me. Which is also isn't a very happy aspiration day. Oh. Keep a smile on your face. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's some photos of her looks like on vacation and maybe at Paris and Yeah, by herself. The pictures were all of Graham's wife. And she they were photo chemical prints. Taken using an old style film camera. The retro technology had managed to blend songbirds seamlessly into the fake backgrounds. The photography oh. was impressive, but the subject didn't look happy. I'd say. The pictures in the apartment told a sad story. A blissful romance that had soured with time. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I, I was see that. still surprised she didn't rat us out as soon as we walked through the door, to be honest. Where is my husband? Closet door. Hmm. Yeah, very odd. Well, okay, as I guess. far as I know, I think we learned everything we could about him. Should we have Chips Worth do something for us to see if we can do anything else? You want to see if we can get him to do a task? Yeah, get him to do like the uh, the cleaning or like the plant or something maybe. Good afternoon, sir. Is what I'm guessing. I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, sir. Uh, do we want to try plants? Sure. Please, can you water the plants, Chipworth? Very good, sir. Oh, okay. Oh, he's doing it! That's cool. <laughs> Locating plants. Where are plants? Ah, uh, they're in the room with Songbird. Can I do? I knew about Graham's health, but I still needed to find out about his work and social standing. Perhaps Let's go I find more on his personal terminal. I needed uh, to find out more information if I wanted to avoid getting caught out. Okay. His personal terminal, so we should go back to the bedroom then. That's what I'm guessing too. So let's do like he was a, definitely a sports fanatic. There's maybe something on the in here book. Espionage during the Hobart Wars. Nice to see the propaganda was still around. Okay. So yeah, let's look more at the terminal, I guess. All right, game. What did we miss? Can we find some messages now? No. The council was made up of five ministries. Each ministry had their own logo and distinctive color scheme. From the color of his uniform, it was clear that Graham worked for the Ministry of Comfort. I knew quite a bit about Graham's work and health, but I figured I could learn more if I found his kudos records. Do you see the top left there? Where it says view kudos history. Oh. A chart showing that Graham's kudos score had recently dropped. I wondered what had caused such a sharp decline. Oh. I had learned all I was going to from Graham's apartment. I hoped it would be enough. <laughs> oh, okay. That was literally the one we missed, huh? Just the one that we missed. One. So went from B to B minus to C plus. So yeah, I wonder. Huh. I, I wonder, I suppose. We're ready now. Let's do it. Let's talk to the mentor. If I was going to mentor. convince the mentor, I had to be sure I knew enough about Graham. I'm pretty sure we're good. I'm pretty sure we're good, too. I not keep waiting any longer. From that point on, I had to be Graham Grundy, cleaning supervisor. <sighs> Darling, I thought you were going to freshen up. I was, but I missed the sweet sound of your voice. Oh, Graham, always the romantic. But please don't kiss me until you've showered. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. Besides, I couldn't let Alfonso here, Alonso, Ooh. monopolize my lovely wife for a moment longer. In which case, shall we begin? Of course. Shall we take a seat in the lounge? It was now or never. <laughs> Jesus. Alfonso. So, Mr. Grundy. Mentor Alonso, what would you like to know? Ah, oh, well, straight to the point. I like that. As I was explaining to your dear wife earlier, there have been some issues with your activity records of late. Issues? What do you mean? Mr. Grundy, a word to the wise. This will be much smoother if you leave the questions to me. Now, whilst your records load, remind me, in which ministry are you employed? Uh, I believe it was well-being. No. No? Was it safety? No. Oh. Was it comfort? Mm -hmm. It was Mr. comfort? Grundy. Comfort. I'm a cleaning supervisor. Yes, of course. <laughs> ah, here we go. Graham Grundy, 42, cleaning supervisor with the Ministry of Comfort. Yes. Cleaning supervisors require Class C exertive activity certification. I trust that your health rating is sufficient. It's an A+. Plus. Oh, yeah. I did drop down a bit, but I'm back to Class A+, plus now. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. 
So, with that in mind, I will mark you as fit for work, barring any other issues. Now, obviously, your kudos level will have fluctuated due to your absence. You're a C plus right now. I note he used to be much higher. I think it was B. Yeah, B. B. Yes, well, you'll be back up there in no time. Well, that is all I need to check off. Mm. But I'd be remiss if I didn't offer you all the extra support and guidance that you need. Mentor? When someone goes off grid, there's usually some underlying trouble. And as a mentor, I like to think of myself as a bit of a troubleshooter. I appreciate the concern. <laughs> so, let's get to the bottom of all this confusion. Dig a bit deeper, eh? Eh? Uh, yes, right. By all means, Mentor. I Tell me about your workplace. I trust there are no issues. Uh... <sighs> She's giving us a sign. Walking through. Checking down. <laughs> um, I have no idea. I think a train depot. You think the train depot? Yeah, and train facility. It's a fine place to work. Yeah, she's smiling. I think I'm it's good. sure it is. Department of <laughs> Train and Extra City Commerce. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. I couldn't be happier. We are, of course, very grateful for your service, Mr. Grundy. But there we come to the crux of the matter. Your huh? absence. Fifteen days is a, a long time. This is, of course, why my ministry has become involved in your case. We have been concerned for your well-being. I'm fine. Better than ever, in fact. <laughs> Excellent. Now, speaking of your health, I note you had some surgery last year. Tell me about your implants. Are they working effectively? Um... Uh. Uh, I think it was the heart. Yeah, the heart. You mean my heart regulation? <laughs> she gave us the thing. <laughs> As you can see, the beat goes on. I love this. Yeah. It's like charades. Well, I must say you're in remarkable shape considering your medical history. Of course, your mental well-being is just as important to us. Hmm. How are you getting on with your <laughs> rather peculiar hobbies? Um, I want to say photography. No. No. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's photography. I thought it was sports, but maybe not. I'm going to go with photography. Okay. A bird watching? <laughs> oh, God. Please, this is Mr. Grundy. You I'm going to my photography. I do. Yes. I knew it. Oh, okay. The feeling of an old time film camera. I can imagine. Oh, that's right, because you have the photos of her. Although, I don't understand your interest in using such archaic technology. Choosing to fiddle with knobs rather than availing of ministry-recommended filters, stabilization, automatic archive, and data retrieval, all courtesy of Minos. If we can't see what you create, how can we share in your interests? Mm. What can I say? I like a challenge. I'm sure you do, Graham. <laughs> ah, well. I have a busy day of appointments, so sadly we must conclude our little chat there. It's been mm. a pleasure, Mentor. <laughs> Hasn't it? So with that in mind, perhaps you can tell me where you've been for the last two weeks. Mm. Oh, gosh. Right. Yes, where have I been the last two weeks? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the last two weeks. I was working at the land train facility, of course. Cleaning. I'm a cleaning supervisor. And while I was cleaning, I must have bumped my head. The next thing I knew, I was in the middle of nowhere, still on the train. Two weeks later, the train returned to the city. Cleaner than it's ever been, I might add. My poor darling! How awful! What a dreadful thing to happen! <laughs> Jeez. I believe I have all the answers I need from you. Really? That's a relief. <laughs> I'm sure it is, Mr. Grundy. Well, thank you for stopping by. Uh, j just a teeny tiny thing before I go. There appears to be one or two 
anomalous results here. Anomalous? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> it may be nothing. But here's the thing. I get strange readings when I scan your U-chip. Any idea why? Mm, maybe it got damaged when I fell. Ah, yes. Of course. That's probably it. You see, the only other time I've seen anything like this is when a U-chip has been tampered with. Mm. No one would have done that now, would they? Tampered with? I didn't even know that you could do that. Graham's a supervisor, not a subversive mentor. Yes, a supervisor, not a subversive. <laughs> Damaged when he fell. Request analysis. There, perfect. I have everything I need. Great. Chipbot will show you out. Chip Worth, darling? <laughs> Just my little joke. Chipworth. Good day, Mr. and Mrs. Grundy. Ah, I the robot. I don't know who you are, or what you've done with Graham, but I think we got away with that. I hope so. I don't think that we would get away with it a second time. Nor do I. <laughs> if there is anything wrong with Graham's U-chip, you would better sort it out sharpish before Alonzo's analysis comes back. Who even are you? Where's Graham? Are you that contact he kept ranting about? No. Whatever Graham had been up to, it had gotten him killed. I had to come clean with his wife. There's no easy way to say this, but I'm afraid Graham is dead. What? How? Where? I found him. In the Gap. The Gap? What was the idiot doing in the Gap? Was that where he was always sneaking off to? Ugh. A child, Milo, was abducted from a village out there and brought into Union City. And I think Graham was somehow connected. Sure, and pigs fly. Listen, stranger, I'm sure you can understand this has been a rather harrowing day. This is all too much for me right now. Tell me about it. <laughs> so I'm gonna do some damage control on social media. In the meantime, I guess that officially it is your home, so you can stay, but this is my bedroom, and that one is yours. No cute ideas. Ooh. Songbird seemed rattled by the news. Not surprising. But whoever this contact of Graham's was, I suspected they were the key to finding Milo. Yeah, probably. And with that, we're gonna end it here. Mm-hmm. So the... <coughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. I'm Zelly. And I'm Kelly. And we'll see you the next time where we find out more about the contact, a little bit more about Graham Grandis and his family's abode here and what he's been up to. So until then, we'll see you and Shipworth in the next episode. Bye bye. Bye. Just happy.